the question also of our sustainability in tourism becomes uh, an important cross-cutting theme. Um, and again, it is, it is pointless having this, this, this discussion if we don't accept that there comes a point in time, and I believe we've come here now, where we cannot be compromising about issues of sustainability. And that in everything that we do, in, certainly in this country, but I wish to be bold enough to speak to the rest of the Caribbean, but in everything that we do, we need realistically to be talking about the country's lead sector in a way that is sustainable and recognizes and recognizing the balance, the delicate balance that has to be struck. I say to you, frankly, that Barbados' tourism represents 40% of our gross domestic product. Seems like a lot, but by comparison, there are several other countries in the Caribbean who are over 40% of their GDP. And at the highest level, I believe it is at about 67, almost 70 percent of GDP. This region is so heavily tourism dependent, heavily tourism exposed, that we cannot have a, sus a, a sustainability issue ignored. And we cannot engage seriously in policy without placing sustainability at the very epicenter of all that we are discussing um, when we talk about planning out the future. Of, of tourism, certainly in Barbados. Um, I say to you frankly that if we are going to talk about town planning, regulations and so on, then we must do so as we go forward with a view to understanding what are the sustainable tourism implications for buildings which are being built and the way in which they're being built and the, the, the methods of, of construction that we are using. Um, if we're going to talk agriculture, then we have to talk agriculture in the context of the linkages that allow for us to be able to feed the country and the tourism sector. And the reality is, I need not tell many of you here at UWI, that part of the problem Barbados faces is the tremendous amount of concessions that have to be granted to the tourism sector. Uh, and therefore, there is a seepage of foreign exchange. But if you're not, if you're not doing the level of calculation in terms of accurate, accurate tourism accounting, you really do not know whether the trade-off is making sense for you. Are you giving away more in the hope of getting and then you don't get? And then in the context of equality and type of concessions, especially one or two that have come about in more recent times, um, have they really worked in the, in the, in the best long-term developmental interests of the country? But those are the discussions that I think, frankly, that we have to have. Um, I am mindful that Justin has, has, has told you that I am um, intellectually agile, so I, I don't wish to be ponderous at this place, but I, I could not realistically leave here without saying to you that above and beyond seeing sustainable tourism as an indispensable cross-cutting theme, there are some other things that we have to do if we're going to get this right. And one of my challenges as a minister, to be frank with you, is to try to get folks that work with me to understand that at the end of the day, we want people to be able to say tourism in Barbados stands for something.